What's up, everybody? It's Fruit by the Six Foot Five, and welcome to the video. If you haven't subscribed by now, basically, I just give advice that I see necessary. And, uh, you know, I think the world would be a lot better place if people gave advice instead of holding it in until they die. I just don't understand that. Anyways, today's video is about diet and, you know, sticking to your diet, maintaining your diet when you fall off, you know, things that can help you stay back on and reasons why you might fall off uh you know if you're just having trouble with it um and consistency with everything because the name of the game is consistency whether you're trying to be a millionaire whether you're trying to get a six pack whether you're trying to get that girl to notice you whatever it is whether you're trying to take over planet earth the name of the game is consistency so when it comes down to diet first of all you got to know what you're doing you know you're trying to gain weight you're trying to lose weight you're gonna have to supplement each and every need that your body is requesting of you and that your mind is requesting of you in the process. So for instance, with me, I was only eating fruit, right? In my joints, like I was getting screwed up because I was, you know, I am an athlete and a weekend warrior type athlete, but every single day I lift, I do some sort of cardio, whether it be a one to two hour walk or an hour run, things like that. So. I had to transition from strictly fruit to more solid foods, you know, like sweet potatoes, garbanzo beans, avocados, salads, quinoa. And, you know, I might go out and get like a, a pita wrap with falafel in it or something like that. Someone in my position might do cardio in the morning and then lift during the evening and they might you know they might hit the wall and be like well i just had x amount of calories burned i did xyz and uh screw it i'm going to burger king or i'm going to wendy's or i'm going to kfc um and they might you know cheat because you feel like you earned it but did you actually earn it first i, I won't even get into that so things that are going to help you stay on consistency is remembering why you started in the first place. Why are you doing this? Are you are you trying to get shredded? Are you trying to gain weight? What are you trying to do? So writing things down helps me a lot. If I can write something down and keep it on my wall every day to where I look up at it. Hey, Tyler, you're a piece of shit. Hey, this is your to do list today. That ensure that that makes it real. That makes it a reality. So number one is writing things down. You need to write things down to stay consistent. Number two is if you haven't been doing it for more than a week, it all comes down to consistency. So if you haven't been doing it for more than a week, don't expect your body to like adapt. If you do it for like two to three days, you're sticking to a good diet. And then on the third day, you go get donuts or ice cream or something like that. It's like, what are you doing? You didn't even earn nothing. You, after maybe a month, okay, you might be able to have a little supplementation of something like that, depending on how many calories you're burning and whatnot. But that's the name of the game. It's like you have to stay disciplined. And that's just what this video comes down to. It's just when it comes down to diet or anything else in your life, I can't explain it any more than that. It's like all it is is consistency. It's like this world doesn't owe you nothing. Nothing. This world does not owe you anything. So if you're not being consistent and you're taking shortcuts, and you're doing things of that sort of nature, don't expect anything to happen. If you haven't tapped into the deeper side of your mind when things get super tough, how do you expect to ever get results? Me, myself, right now, I'm trying to get more shredded again. But at night, I've been hitting the wall because, for instance, yesterday I ran 7.5 miles and then I did a killer chest workout for an hour and a half. So I burned about like 2,500 calories total throughout the day. And then my like just regular calories that I'm burning, just living, being a human is like a thousand. So I burned 3,500 3, calories. So come dinner time and my girlfriend left a thing of cupcakes in the freezer, in the fridge too. So it's like, that doesn't help. Come dinner time, I'm like, okay, I can splurge on fruit. So I splurged on fruit. I had like 16 bananas. And then I'm like, well, I'm still hungry. So I went down the street and got two pita wraps two pita wraps with four falafel balls and it's like chipotle but with falafel 
And that was cheating because I could have done quinoa, avocado, and garbanzo beans instead. Maybe two helpings of it. And that would have supplemented me and not been any excess. But because I felt like I deserved it, I went and got the pita wraps. That's a no-no. So it's just, you know what I mean? And it's like nothing, I don't, nobody owes me shit. I don't own nobody shit. So it's like, if you're not being consistent, if you're not being disciplined, nothing's gonna happen for you. Diet, marriage, money. That it, with one thing in my life right now, I'll be transparent. It's like the money situation. I don't have money coming in right now. So it's like, I need to start being more consistent on how I'm gonna do that. But that is the name of the game, consistency repetition call it what you want but unless you're knocking at that glass window every single day you know if you knock five or six times it's not gonna break but if you knock 500 times you might make a crack in that month so that's all i really have to say to that you know it's like it's consistency y'all nobody owes you nothing you're alone, you came in the world alone, you're going out alone. What do you want out of it? Stay consistent. And I can take my own advice with this video. It's Fruit by the 645, comment down below. If you wanna see more videos, something specific, email me, T-Y-L-E-R-O-W-E-N 23 at gmail.com, Tyler Owen 23, Tyler Owen 23 at gmail.com. If you have like questions about anything, diet, lifestyle, anything, I'll hit you back. Yes, we're about six foot five, man. Let's get it. I love y'all.